So, hey, hi everyone. Good evening. Good evening. I'm audible. Can you please pin a chart? I'm audible. Hello. I'm audible. Please type yes in a chart if I am audible. Hello. Hello. Guys, I'm audible. Hello. 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 Hello guys, I'm audible. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I need to speak. Uh, I need to ping me yes or no, right? So if I'm audible or not, I need to know, right? I'm audible, right? Everyone. So firstly, good evening and uh, thank you so much for joining this uh, valuable webinar and uh, workshop on the day. So welcome to data science workshop. So our AI related workshop. So completely we will discuss about how exactly the five days of workshop will going on and what are the things you will get from this workshop and how you going to implement in the real time and end of the day, what you get this workshop also, we will go each and everything. Okay. So can we go for the things? So first one, as a workshop details, so first we need to, first day one is the day one, right? Today is the day one. So day one or the day one, we will discuss about uh, the introduction of, uh, introduction of AI, introduction of AI and uh, data science. We will discuss about the introduction of data science. So if it complete, we will discuss today or we can extend for the tomorrow also. And in day two, day two, we will discuss about uh, what is data. So, because if you want to work in an artificial intelligence, if you want to work in a real time of AI, so you need to know about the data and as well as uh, it types of data we have, types of data. So types of data and its types and also called it, it's a types. What are the types of data we have? We need to know about the things. So coming to the day three, coming to the day three, we will go and learn about introduction of, we'll learn about introduction of mission learning. We'll learn about introduction of mission learning as well as, as well as uh, deep learning also. Simply we call it as a deep learning, DL, or you can also call it as a neural network. We can also call it as a neural network. This is a day three we will discuss and day four, so we will see some hands-on experience of implementing implementing simple ML algorithm. So simple linear regression model. We need to develop at the end of day four. We will develop the we will develop the one uh, ML algorithm. So how exactly the ML is going on? What are the uh, how to build a project on this ML algorithm, machine learning algorithms? So we will discuss entire things on the day four. And finally, in day five. And finally, in day five, we will discuss. Uh, in the day five, we will discuss regarding to the uh, AI, AI, ML, 
career and data science uh, career so which career is the best one how can we choose the which career and what are the jobs and packages we have so these are the things related to things we will discuss about uh, uh, in day five right so this is a five days completely we will learn in a five days okay so five days we will learn completely about this so right now is the day one right so we will give the introduction about the artificial intelligence and some of the data science and next upcoming we will also discuss uh, so about the day two data and how it's a type of data we have and uh, is it like uh, day three we will discuss about the machine learning and deep learning it's a simply known as a neural network simply known as a neural network and uh, finally in day four we will discuss about the, and we will build a uh, machine learning model you are the beginning to believe machine learning on day, uh, day five the job and the career about the data science ai ml everything so these are the things we will discuss about this five days okay so first let me give you what are the benefits why you need to join what are the benefits so why you join this uh, workshop right why you need to join this workshop what are the benefits you will get from this workshop so first one you need to know about the overview of you will know about the overview of data science AI, sorry from the ai ml dl and data science you will get the complete overview of uh, ai ml and dl like simply machine learning deep learning natural language processing and we call like like this right you will get a complete uh, understanding about this overview so how the ai works how the machine learning works how the deep learning works how the data science is helpful for the ai so simple these, these types of terms we will discuss in this uh, over workshop so next you will get some hands on experience and some experience so hands on experience means simply we are building a one machine learning model right simply we are building a one type of machine learning model so any type of like we have a n number of machine learning algorithms we will types uh, we will build a one type of machine learning algorithm so that's why we will get a hands on experience and third one you will know now for the career of uh, ai how so if you choose the ai as your career so you will know about the career of ai what are the jobs we have in ai and uh, what is the relation what are the packages present in ai so how much of depth we need to go for the ai so these are the things we will going to cover in this and the fourth one the fourth one you will get complete route map complete route map complete road map road map to prepare to prepare to prepare ai ml and data science so you will get the complete roadmaps for preparing ai ml and data science for the complete workshop in this only workshop of five days we will discuss each and everything and uh, finally you will get the certificate also finally you will get the certificate of workshop you will get the certificate of workshop you need to share this certificate so you need to share this certificate in linkedin you need to share this certificate in linkedin so linkedin is a professional platform so as you know you are from the basic of uh, first year second year third year fourth year student so you need to build the linkedin first you need to build the linkedin first simply how can you grow the linkedin means simply go for the youtube uh, simply go for the youtube you need to type linkedin optimizer linkedin optimization you can type this linkedin optimization if you don't have any linkedin first first we need to see that uh, how to create linkedin account first we you need to see that how to create linkedin account so first you need to create the linkedin account after that you need to optimize the linkedin account so in this linkedin only you need to uh, upload this certificate whatever the certificate end of the day we are providing for you you need to upload this certificate in your linkedin okay that's a mandatory that's a mandatory so to grow your linkedin profile because linkedin is a professional uh, place where so many people are so many recruiters and so many hrs and so many professionals are placed there they if they like your profile if they like your things if they like their content they will directly connect with you and they will, can offer you jobs also so there is a n number of using of linkedin so completely it is used for the professional related things professional related things it's not like the instagram it's not like a whatsapp it's not like the facebook it's a related to the social media platform only but it's related to the professional it related to the professional thing. so end of the day at the fifth day or uh, after completing of this five days workshop uh, we will go for the uh, like a certificate for you you can uh, download the certificate and you can upload the certificate in some other place like a linkedin and you can also place that certificate in your resume also so that is also more important 
so resume is a more important where you need to prevent uh, create ats uh, related resume that's a main important so if you want to create ats resume can you do only uh, overly visa one type of website overly so you can go for the website and you can uh, create a uh, ats friendly resume and you can also upload the certificate in your resume so that's also a good thing so very important and these are the things up, uh, if you want like what do you get from this workshop understand clear up here so type yes if you are understand these things clear yeah <clears throat> So we will go and discuss the next. Uh, so we discuss why this, uh, what are the things we will discuss and workshop. So we can start with day one. So day one is introduction of introduction of AI and data science. Let me give the introduction of AI and data science. So what is AI? So before that introduction, so simply define the AI. AI is an artificial intelligence which can easily understand the same as a human. It works like a human being, same as a human being. So let me tell you some applications of uh, AI. After that, we will explain what, how exactly AI is working. So here the application. Let me discuss about the applications. And we are using like Google Translator, right? We are using this Google Translator. So it is used to translate one type of language into the another type of language, right? So it is also working on the AI. It is also working on the AI only. So where completely works on the AI. So right now we are using the chart GPT, right? Chart GPT. It is also completely working on the AI only. It is also completely working AI only. So here the chart GPT, we need to give up, uh, input as a text and the output to the as a text. So like that it is working. Output is as well like text. So let me show you how the chart GPT also working. So let me share my screen again okay? and uh, let me try the chart GPT. Let me type the chart GPT. So here I'm writing the, you can observe like, uh, hi. So see, I'm simply, I mentioned the hi for it. Simply, I mentioned the hi for it. It's your hi, uh, how it's going. And it's great. Let me give, uh, it's great. Okay. What about you? Glad to hear that. Uh, what, uh, what are you working on today? So I'm planning, I am planning to make a good note on A. So let me write this. I'm planning to make a good note on A. So uh, based on the knowledge of AI, so it will provide some information for it. So that uh, that sounds like a great idea. What specific topics on area on AI are you thinking to cover? So here we need to discuss about the area on topics, right? So we have a n number of things. We have a n number of industries. We have a n number of industries. So what is the mean of industries? Means domains. We simply known as a domain. We can also call as a domain. So domains means so we have a healthcare. We have a healthcare. It is a one type of domain. So we have a transportation. Transportation is a one type of domain. So we have a manufacturing companies. So this is also one type of domain. So we have a n number of like this. So we have a n number of four domains, right? So we need to specify AI can work in any domain. AI can work in any domain. It work for the healthcare, it work for the transportation, it work for the manufacturing, it work for, work for the marketing, it work for the text reading, it work for the education, it work for the so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. So, so it completely works on the different, different types of domains. It completely works for the different different types of domain. So based on the domain, user's case of AI will be changed. Based on the domains only, use case of AI will be changed. So it AI can and in the, coming to the healthcare. Let me discuss some points in the healthcare, right? So in coming to the healthcare, so AI work for the detection of disease. AI work for the detection of the disease. For example, skin uh, uh like let me give an example like a skin cancer. So for example, skin cancer. It will uh, AI can detect, detect the skin whether the person have a skin or not, whether the person have a uh, skin cancer or not. It can AI can easily detect. AI can easily detect. And coming to the transportation, so GPS, GPS. So the, so most important GPS and Tesla car also working on the transportation also. They need to detect the object in front of the uh, road and uh, how the road is looks like. 
is the ready vehicle is going on in front of the road so this type of things will be covered in the transportation in coming to the manufacturing so we already seen some of the manufacturing companies already using automation of robots so they are using some of the restaurants uh, in japan jaipur uh, in japan and china they are using the robots in the place of replacing the human being so to like uh, in restaurants to serve the food for the uh, whatever the people came to the restaurant so like that uh, industry like ai is completely working on the industry okay like that ai is completely working on the industry so what exactly the ai let me give you an example so this is a world of ai let you imagine this is a world of ai so ai is a completely known as a group of technologies ai is a completely known as a group of technologies where data science data analyst business analyst okay data engineer computer vision ml engineer natural language engineer and uh, computer uh, like the dl engineer generative ai now it is a trending one prompt engineering so these are the group of technologies is simply known as a artificial intelligence these are the complete group of technologies is known as a artificial intelligence so from my perspective from my side of perspective artificial intelligence data science is a backbone of artificial intelligence data science is a backbone of artificial intelligence how can we define data science is the backbone of artificial intelligence simply one example so you can clearly get that so robo movie so we already seen that robo movie right so robo movie one so robo movie one uh, so the, in this movie so as a villain mentioned that for the robot villain mentioned that robot to take the gun to take the gun but robot by mistakely take the bun right robot by mistakely take the gun uh, bun so if the data is trying well for the robo it will correctly go and collect the gun not the bun right so we need to train the data in a correct format that's why data science is take over here that's why data science is take over here so data science is simply known as uh, dealing with the data simply known as dealing with the data we need to extract the meaningful information from the data we need to extract the meaningful information from the data so that information need to be trained for the algorithm like ai algorithm so ai need to be detect very well so if you train the good data for the robot it will easily identify this is a gun not a bird right this is easily identified this is a gun not a bird like that data science is evaluated here so if you want to know about the ai if you want to know about the ai first you need to learn about the data science this is a mandatory first you need to learn the data science so that's a mandatory like a, uh, we can call it as a fundamentals we can call it as a fundamentals so ai fundamentals uh, fundamental we can learn the data science so what is exactly data science so we will discuss about what is exactly data science how the data science is going on and what are the types of uh, things present in the data science we will discuss each and everything with and some of the examples okay so data science i already mentioned that dealing with the data and which is useful to extract the meaningful information for the business growth which is uh, which reach extract the meaningful information for the business growth this is the data science right so we need to uh, deal with data we need to deal with data and extract the meaningful information extract the extract the meaningful information to business growth meaningful information to business growth okay whatever the business we have so whether the business means simply uh, it's a manufacturing company or it's a it company whatever the things presented so we need to extract the meaningful information uh, to grow the business so data science course data science is divided into two types uh, one is data analyst another one is data scientist one is data analyst another one is a data scientist okay so, so whatever the unnecessary values what are the after that you need to do some of the visualizations of the data that's comes the skills required for becoming data analyst okay we will discuss about the skills required for to become a data analyst so first one we need to know about one of the programming language first we need to know about the programming language so what is exactly this programming language so many people have a lot of doubts about the programming language so which programming language is best to use or so lot of things so first we need to discuss about the programming language what is mean by programming language so programming language is a simple like a instruction we need to provide some instruction for the applications what type of instruction so everyone using instagram right everyone using instagram so if you want to share your reel for your friend this is a one type of instruction we have a logo of shared logo so if you click on this logo it will share to your friend right 
it will if you click on this video logo it will share to the your friend whatever the logo have you need to share the friend so that is that one type of instruction we are providing for the uh, share button same like that uh, we need to give a like if you click on this like button only it will provide the like so it is a one type of instruction so we need to provide the instruction for an application or a computer is known as a programming language is known as a program we have a any number of types of programming languages we have a c C, C++, Java, Python, R language, Oracle, so SQL and uh, uh, Shift. They have a, a number of programming language we have. So coming to the data science and data analysis AI related, we prefer to use two types of programming language. One is Python, another one is R language. Okay, one is Python, another one is R language. We prefer to use these two languages. So in both of these, we prefer to use only the Python. You only the Python because, because, so because, so simple explanation about the Python compared to the R language is so Python is very easy language. Python is very easy language compared to the other languages. So the way of writing is easy, the way of writing is easy, the way of explanation is easy. Even if, if you are coming from the non IT background, if you are coming from the non IT background, that is, if you don't have any knowledge about the IT related, if you don't have any knowledge in IT or if you don't have any knowledge of the basics of programming also, you can easily understand this Python. You can easily understand this Python very well. So most of the time, most of the things, Python is presented in English language. Most of the cases, Python is presented in the English language around 60 to 70%. We can easily define like a 60 to 70% of time. Python is uh, like completely in English language only. That's why we can easily. So if you know the English almost, we can, uh, if you know the English almost, we can easily understand this Python. If you know the English almost, we can easily understand the Python. Remaining 30 to 40 percent is depend upon the syntax. Syntax is simply uh, defined as a way of writing, way of writing, way of writing code, way of writing code. We can easily define like way of writing code. Okay, so this is a completely Python. So simply programming language is known as a providing some instruction for the application or a computer to perform some specific task. For example, like uh, given the Instagram. So if you want to share any reel for your friend, we need to uh, click on the logo of the share button. That's why it shares. Like we are providing some instruction. So I'm coming to the data science and AI related things. Uh, we mostly prefer to use this uh, Python. You know, uh, mostly prefer to use this uh, Python because guys, I'm audible. I'm not audible. Just a second. Just a second. We're trying to fix this problem, please. Let me rejoin. Rejoin. Just a second. Guys, now I'm not Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, is my screen visible? Guys, still visible, guys. Can you please reply in chat? Guys, screen visible. Can you please reply in chat? The screen is visible. So fine. So we already uh, discussed, right? Uh, so coming to the data science and data analyst, uh, we prefer to use this uh, Python programming language. So because uh, compared to another programming language, it is very easy to understand. It is very easy to 
write the code, it is very easy to compare to maintain the database. That's why we prefer to use this uh, Python, right? That's why we prefer to use this Python. So another type is uh, R language. It is also one type of programming language. So which is uh, somewhat uh, harder compared to the Python. So these are the most of the times like uh, AI related candidates who are working in the AI, they prefer to use this Python and R language only to develop the applications. So after that, uh, if you know about the Python, uh, next we are uh, completely the skills related as a they, uh, stats and probability. Stats and probability. So these are the most important skills required for the stats and probability. So so what is the use of stats means? Uh, what is the use of stats means? So simply stats is used to find the statistical analysis of a data. Statistical analysis of a data. So how can you find the statistical analysis of a data? So 1, 2, 3, 4. Can you please find the mean? Mean, what is the mean of a data? So how can we identify the mean? Guys, how can we identify the mean for this given data? Anyone? Mean, how can we identify the mean? Sum of observation by total number of observations, right? Sum of observation by total number of observations. So what is the sum of observations we have? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by total number of observations. That is a 5. So what is that sum? 1, 2, 3, 6, 6, 10, 15. 15 divided by 5, 5 and the 5, 3 is that. What is the mean of a data? 3 is a mean of a data. So is a given number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the smallest number. You can easily calculate it. So what happens if you provide a huge amount of number? So if you have a 10,000, if you have a 20,000, is it possible to identify the mean of a data? No, right? It, it is not possible to identify the mean of a data, right? So that's why we need to perform some statistic analysis, like mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, and some of the things presented in a statistic. So that's why we prefer to use this statistics. What is the use of uh, probability? Simply, uh, what is mean by probability, guys, first? So probability is a simply defined as a how likely an event occurs. How likely an event occurs. For example, let me give an example. For example, right, uh, rolling a die. Rolling a die. So if it uh, rolling a die, what is the possibility outcomes we have? So if it uh, roll a die, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because the dice have a 6 faces, right? So this is a probability. So what is the probability of getting 5? So if you roll the die, what is the probability of getting check? So 1 by 6. The overall 6 possibilities, we have only one time of possibility I have. We have only one chance to occur this die, right? 1 by 6. So what is the probability of getting 4? So only 1 by 6. We have total number of outcomes is a 6. And the possibility of getting uh, 4 is only one chance. So like this, we can easily define how can event occurs in the probability. Okay, how possibility have it. So one more example, like uh, if you see the weather app, if you see in the weather app, so how much of probability of getting right? 68%, 78%, 90%. So they mention like this, like in percentage symbols. This is also defined. 90% of probability they are getting chance there is a wash right in a evening or tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So we can also define like this. Okay. So this is a use of probability and stats in a uh, like data science AI related type. Okay, AI in data science. So statistics and what are the things are presented. Clear up to here. And the next one, uh, after completing of stats and probability, and next one, the skill need to be have a MySQL. So MySQL is simply known as a database. Okay. Simply, it is a database. Let me give, uh, simply it is a database where it was, where it is used to store the data, where it is used to store or retrieve or whatever the things presented. We, uh, it is completely used for the things. So as a uh, data science and AI related candidate, data, data is more important, right? So we need to uh, store the data in MySQL. It's a simply like a database and we need to re retrieve. We need to retrieve or access. We need to access the data and we need to perform. We need to access the data and we need to perform some of the statistic analysis, perform some of the uh, probabilities on this uh, data. So by using Python, we can easily retrieve the data. By using Python, we can easily retrieve the data. So after that, uh, we need to know about the Excel. So Excel is a more important, more advanced tool in the data. So it is completely uh, advanced level we will discuss from this. Like uh, we need to know about the basics to advanced level of Excel. So where this advanced level is helpful for the data analysis, data cleaning, data summarization purpose. So that much of importance we have by using this Excel. 
so that is the most important uh, so how do we define this uh, simply uh, we can easily define the data visualization of uh, uh, like uh, drawing some statistical into the graphical representation statistical to the graphical representation or visualization so how can we define so i have a uh, two tables let me give an example also about it so here i have a two axis x comma y uh, 1 2 3 4 5 this is a statistical data i have 4 3 2 one five. This is a statistical data I have. If I want to represent in a graphical, let me try axis like this. I need to try axis like this. One, two, three, four, five. This is the x-axis, right? And whereas this is the y-axis also. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the. So uh, how many times like uh, we need to find the relation uh, like in a bar charts? So one is presented as a. One is. Guys, can you please make a mute? This is a bar chart. So one is uh, represented as a four times. Where is two is represented as a three times. So where is uh, three is represented as a two times. Where is four is represented as a one time. And five is represented as a five times. So like this, uh, we need to draw some graphical representation. We need to draw some graphical representations. So for that case, we use uh, this Power BI and Tableau. So both are used for the data visualization purpose. Both are used for the data visualization purpose. So right now, so let me tell you uh, some of this, uh, what are the uh, differences between Tableau and Power BI. So Tableau and Power BI both are used for the data visualization purpose only. Okay. Tableau and Power BI both are used for the data visualizations only. And but where the user interface of uh, both compared to, so it is a user interface. Let me type about the user interface. It is as cool and simple. It is a cool and simple. It's some like it uh, makes some complex. Complex user interface is very complex. So coming to the uh, open source, like uh, cost, coming to the cost. So it is a free of cost. It's an open source, free of cost. And where it is a paid, where it is a paid. You need to pay for, for the users of things. And uh, coming to the some of the uh, things as, and it is a recent uh, trending one. So right now every company is using this trending one. And this is not a trend one, okay? This is not a trend one. So uh, this is a completely differences between the Power BI as well as the Tableau. Okay, uh, Power BI is a trending one compared to the Tableau. So whereas a Tableau is a paid version, we need to pay some around fourteen to fifteen dollars to use this Tableau source resources. And in Tableau also we have a free of top that is a public. Uh, it is a free of open source. But if you do any project in this public, it will can be visible by each and everyone who are present in the Tableau community. So like a group, it's a group. So everyone can view your project. So there is no data secure present in the tablet. So compared to the Power BI. So the Power BI have a high end of data security. So if you want to share anyone like a report, whatever the things you have created, so you need to have an organization mail. You need to have an organization mail. This is a mandatory thing. This is a mandatory thing in a tablet. Sorry, Power BI. So, so if you know this uh, five technical skills, if you know this five technical skills, whatever the things we have mentioned, so Python, stats and probability, MySQL, Excel, and data visualization tool, any one of these Power BI and Tableau, you will become a data analyst. You will become a data analyst. So data analyst simply known as uh, he's a person who completely work on the data. He's a person who completely clean the data. He's a person who work uh, completely on the visualization part. So as a data analyst, you need to know one more thing that is st storytelling. You need to know about one more thing is storytelling. So yeah, storytelling is the most important for the data analyst because you need to explain the whatever the things you have done the project. So for example, in the Power BI, we only draw the visualization style. So we need to explain the visualization for the client. We need to explain the visualization for the client. For example, I have a graphs like this. So I have a graph like this. So if I have a graph like this, so I have four like million of graphs, is it? I need to explain each and every graph for the uh, uh, client. So what exactly is the data? What is exactly the present in the data? How the data is working? And what are the inputs we have in the data? So like this, we need to explain each and everything for the client. So with the help of this data science, with the help of this data analyst, uh, L, uh, within adding of uh, one more tool, Agile methodology, if you add this Agile methodology, so if you know data analyst along with the agile methodology, you will become a business analyst. You will become a business analyst. You will become a business analyst. So let me uh, define uh, what exactly the business analyst also. So business analyst is a person who was an extrovert, 
he need to develop the business and he need to assign some of the calls between the client and the uh, employees and he, he, or all the things of a business or all the things of a business about the project he need to take over it so let me define how exactly the business analyst and data analyst works okay data analyst and business analyst works so let me give an example so i have a manufacturing company uh, so this is my manufacturing company so i have a last 5 years of data i have a last 5 years of data so where we are working for the three sales a b c these are my three products okay these are my three products so i'm i'm like last overall 5 years of the day years i have my total overall profits on the sales i have so 80% only so i need to improve this profit more i need to improve this profit more that's why i connect with the one software company i collaborate with the software company i connect with the software company so they can hire they can hire one data scientist sorry data analyst another one is business analyst they can hire the one data analyst and business analyst okay these two people what they exactly do so as a data analyst he need to analyze the data right he need to analyze the data right so he need to analyze the data as a data analyst so he need to analyze the data he need to uh, visualize the data and is there any null values you need to identify the things everything right so as a, after taking this 5 years of data data analyst has done some analysis based on the uh, product a product b product c so data analyst has done some of the analysis based on the product a product b product c so product a product b product c so we have a 29 states in india right we have a 29 states in india so uh, my products uh, mostly like uh, let me compare like product a is going on 60% sale product b is as 90% sale and product a has 30% uh, of sale so this is my uh, overall 5 years the product a product b product uh, c as a sales right these are the things presented in product a product b product c so as a business analyst as a business analyst he need to analyze which product is more uh, sale which product is less sale so to improve the sales of a company uh, to improve the sales of a company he need to improve the sales which type individually so product a we have a 5% right so, sorry product a we have a 60% upset product b we have a 90% upset product c we have a 30% right? if we business analyst increase the sales of a 30% product c the overall sales will be also increase right the overall sales also increase so like that he need to also focus on the product a he need to also focus on the product a both 60 and 30 percent of products need to be increased so for that case business analysts need to understand where exactly this product a and product c is going on where exactly this product a product b is delivering where exactly this product a product c is manufacturing whatever the distribution and sharing so you need to see each and everything and you need to tell for the client this is an extrovert right you need to explain the client so for example hey client you need to develop product c and more so for example product c is going on the south countries for example product c is going on the south uh, south side so you need to improve the manufacturing of a product C to the south and it will help to uh, sell more on the product C. So like that, uh, as a business analyst, he need to provide the information for the uh, complete information for the client requirement. He need to give the uh, some of the tricks and uh, trims for the uh, to grow their businesses and uh, he also provide some of the information for the businesses. As a data analyst, you need to analyze the complete information complete analysis about the data so for better understanding also as a data analyst he can divide these sales in states which states we can high going on in this uh, in the districts also which district is going on high in whatever the things like in the towns also it will describe in the towns also describe. like this we need to analyze the more and more and more on data we need to analyze the more and more on data okay we need to analyze the more and more on the data that's the main of uh, thing what exactly uh, we are going to see what exactly we are going to see as a data analyst as well as a well, data business analyst so business analyst is a main thing is you need to develop the business whereas a data analyst uh, main thing is you need to analyze the data that's a, 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 two roles in the real time we are working two roles in the real time we are working clear about it can you please ping ASR if you clear this Clear up now? Yeah. 
done so what next uh, we are going to see uh, what exactly this data scientist has doing what exactly so we discuss about regarding the data analyst right next we are going to discuss about what exactly data scientist is doing so what exactly data scientist is uh, going on doing so data scientist so as a data analyst you need to know about the analysis part of a data so as a data scientist you need to know about the predictions as a data scientist you need to know about the predictions predictions is the more important for the data how can he predict it means by using some technologies machine learning deep learning by using some machine learning and deep learning he will develop some models and he will make some predictions of the data okay he will make some predictions on the data so how can we predict so let me discuss about the, some of the things in a machine learning so machine learning is a one type of technology which is completely works on the uh, numerics data it is only works on the numerics data so we have a different types of formats of a data we have a images we have a audios we have a videos so we have a n number of types of image uh, formats we have in a data okay so these are the types of data so machine learning algorithm can't able to work on the images it's can't able to work on the videos it can't able to work on the audio that's why deep learning is over here deep learning is phase over it's a completely works on the neural networks it completely works on the neural network so where it have can work on the images where it can work on the videos where it can work on the numerics where it can work on the text so these are these are the types of things present in the deep learning so after the deep learning we have a two streams okay after the deep learning we have a two streams one is text stream another one is video stream so let me discuss about the video stream first in video stream we use this technology like a computer vision where we are uh, it completely works on the uh, object detection where it completely works on the object detection what is the meaning of object detection everyone know about the tesla car right everyone know about the tesla car so in the tesla car in front of they have a cams where it can detect the object in front of the car so it is a road it is a road so it is easily identifies whether the object is present or not right it is easily identify whether the object is present or not like that uh, tesla car is working on some of the uh, facial recognition apps also uh, coming to the screen lock facial lock we uh, it will detect your face object detection it will detect the face of your object and it will open the lock of your phone right it will open the lock of your phone. like that this types of object detection this types of images with detections is completely works on the video stream that is known as a computer vision so we have a traffic uh, cams also traffic cams and cctvs cctvs so these are the some applications which completely works on the uh, computer vision so coming to the text field uh, we have a nlp natural language processing where we need to translate the languages where we need to translate the language it's completely works on the language translation so hey alexa hey alexa it is a one type of uh, application which is used to translate the language for example hey alexa play telugu song so it, it will play the telugu song for you hey alexa play hindi song it will play the hindi songs based on the language translation only it is working based on the language translation only it is work completely language translation so if you want to translate any language so we can use this natural language processor right now we are using the chat gpt right now we are using the chat gpt bird but is simply known as a gemini and uh, whatever is like copilot copilot these are the completely works on the language translation only nlp natural language processing it's completely works on the natural language processing only even now we are using the generative ai ai and generative ai even this also working in the text related data that is known as the natural language processing text if they are if they want to work in the text related data they need to work in the uh, natural language processing so let me discuss uh, in the next thing what uh, like exactly the generative ai is going on doing and how the generative ai is working okay so let me go for the natural language processing and how it's working so natural language processing completely works on the text data we already know about this so text is in the different formats so different languages different things as presented in the text so it have any uh, text have a, so telugu hindi english marathi and uh, spanish spanish german so there is a n number of formats we have in the text right so as a language translator like we have a google translator right so google translate is also one type of application for the uh, natural language processing which translates uh, one type of language so from hindi to english from hindi to english or uh, from telugu to english or we can translate from english to english 
or Hindi or Telugu, whatever the things presented. So it can easily translate to one type of format to the another writer for formats. So this is a language related next one. So in the text, so we need to do the text cleaning process. We need to do the text cleaning process because we need to remove the unwanted words. We need to remove the unwanted words which are present in that text, which are present in the text. So that's why we have some of the techniques. That is the reason why we have some of the techniques like uh, stemming, limitization, word to way, back of words. This is a new terminology. I hope you are will be get confused about it. So no worries. Uh, if you want to learn the data science and data analysis and AI, you will get the terminology each and everything. Okay. So these are the main uh, text cleaning. So we have uh, some stages of cleaning. So end of the day, so we need to convert this text into the vectors. Convert the text into the vector. How can we convert the vectors? Mean? Simply, I have a example of text. I am learning AI. I am learning AI. So this is a sentence I have. So uh, I need to remove the unwanted, like I need to remove some of the uh, uh, repeated words or some of the stop words, stop words is some we have. So let me, re uh, I want to remove the things, like some of the things. If there is no, I can directly jump into that. So I want to repeat, uh, like uh, represent this entire sentence into the vectors format. So vectors, we have uh, four types of words, right? So am, and learning, yeah. We have uh, four words in it, right? I am learning, yeah. So if I pass I, if I pass I into the vectors, it represent one, zero, 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 right? So here am is present, I is present, am is present, learning is present, and AI yeah is present. That's why it's short. So if I pass the am, if I pass the am, it will convert into zero and am is presented. That's why it's represented like vectors. So if I want to pass this uh, learning, it will convert into zero, zero, one, zero. Learning is presented. So finally, AI. So if you want to pass this zero, 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 one, like this. So it will convert the entire text data into the vectors. If the vectors is passed into the ML algorithm, it will find easily because ML can only work on the numerics. Numerics means zeros and bones and one, two, threes, like the numerics in the integer floors. It's a types of numerics, right? So completely works on the numerics types only. It completely works on the numeric types only. That is the reason why we prefer to use this uh, text classification and uh, so on, so whatever the things present in it, data. So this is a main concept behind the H1 language processing and the computer vision, which is completely works on the uh, whatever the uh, like uh, object detection and image processing and whatever the things and as a data scientist uh, we need to uh, predict the values we need to predict the future based on the past data so as a data scientist we also know need to know about the data analyst that's a main important because data analyst is the role of where exactly you need to uh, create a one uh, future uh, data related things that's the reason why we have a data analyst and data science so data science is a simply known as a backbone of artificial intelligence. It's work as a backbone of artificial intelligence. Without data, without data, AI can't able to work. Without data, AI can't able to work. This is exactly what the overview of data science we have. This is exactly what we have about the data. So, so tomorrow we are going to see about uh, how exactly generative AI, generative AI is working and what is the relation between the data and generative AI. And we will also discuss about the data types. Any doubts up to now, guys?